Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Evan, and I'm a customer engineer at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I investigate a phishing attack with Backstory? For starters, Backstory allows you to collect and correlate all of your security logs, put them in one place, and search over them just like you would with Google Search. Now, for any phishing example, you need a starting point. This can either be an alert generated by a security tool or a forwarded email coming from the end user who found a particular email to be suspicious. In either case, we need to treat the potential phishing email like a crime scene. We need to use the evidence that we do have to carry out our investigation. A common phishing email will say something like, hello, your password has expired. Please click this link to reset it. Now we can begin our investigation with Backstory using the evidence that we have. In this case, a link to a website. Begin by entering the domain name into Backstory. In this example, we're using the phishing domain office365x24.com. Backstory will search through an entire year of your company's network data to see if anyone in your organization has ever visited the website that was linked in the email. Simply hit search and see all of the network connections to this domain. As you can see, no special query language was needed, and we can see the six people in our organization that have ever visited the domain office365x24.com. On the right-hand side of the screen, we can see all of the automatic enrichment that Backstory does to this domain. This includes information from who is, threat intelligence information, virus total information, and passive DNS information as well. While it's important to know that these six people visited this website, it's also important to know what they did when they were at that website. By going to the timeline view, you can actually search for a post request to this domain, office365x24.com. As you can see, both Alice Tanner and Rita Malone have made a post request to this login.php page. This likely indicates that they posted their credentials to this website. Now from here, you would follow your remediation playbook to make sure that everything is cleaned up. To understand the full scope of this campaign, we can take our investigation deeper. By clicking on this IP address, we can see all of the network connections to this IP address, not just to this particular domain. As you can see, we also have network connections coming from accounts google on November 20th, 2018. This pivot allows us to uncover a domain that we otherwise wouldn't have been aware of. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts.